Baltimore Police Department is working to find out who's responsible for bashing into a 7-Eleven to steal an ATM. As WMAR 2 News' Kendall Green reports, this is a part of a recent uptick in crime in the Hamden neighborhood. This 7-Eleven is an everyday stop for folks in this neighborhood, and it became a target for thieves this morning. Folks tell me while it's disappointing, it's just one of several examples of how crime is plaguing businesses lately. They backed this truck. They backed a truck up and took out the whole thing, yes. This 7-Eleven employee is one of many in the Hampton neighborhood who arrived to find shattered glass, rubble, along with leftover pieces of an ATM. Police say around 5 a.m., thieves backed their van into this 7-Eleven and removed the ATM in an attempt to get the money. The owner wouldn't speak to us on camera, but he told his employees he's glad the ATM and that sense of security was their only losses early Thursday morning. The only thing he's saying is he's glad that the employee wasn't hurt. He's not worried money-wise. He's not worried about any of that. And things could have been worse there. When they back then, they destroyed the office. And normally the guys back there in the office at that time getting all the paperwork together and done. Joseph Fiola, the manager of Grando Pasta Bar just up the block, says this is a small portion of the uptick in crime across Hamden. That being one thing, and it's almost every night there's a there's an issue here. Um, it doesn't surprise me that, that down there something happened. He says within the last month, he and neighboring business owners can't seem to catch a break, recalling an incident happening just um, so yesterday. I had to throw a guy out yesterday um, for for exposing himself to some of my customers. Um, a few nights prior to that, two of my employees were being chased down by a guy in, uh, in a trench coat, and um, he also exposed himself to them. With more frequent crimes along his strip, he says he's only asking the city for one thing. Security. Uh, more, I mean, like, I see cops on the avenue. Um, it would be nice when I call that somebody would show up. Um, but we just we need more police here and to do something. Or else, it'll end up costing him and his neighbors. And I know everybody's talking, so, you know, naturally that's going to that's gonna drive down business. Now at last check, Baltimore police haven't made any arrests or named any suspects in relation to this crime. If you have any information, you're encouraged to call police. Reporting in Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMAR2 News.